Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Alex and today we're gonna to be going through some essentials that I have bought for bringing our puppy home for the very first time. In just 10 days, we are going to be bringing home a black mini golden doodle and I'm so, so excited. This is our very first puppy um, and I like, I cannot wait. I'm literally counting down the seconds. Um, but I got a ton of stuff, obviously, in preparation for the puppy. So I kind of wanted to do just like a quick haul um, of where I got everything, what everything is um, in prep for the puppy. There's obviously going to be, I'm sure, a ton more. But these are kind of the basics. I think I have most things covered. Fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Okay, first up, we're gonna do the Amazon purchases. Um, these I just bought on Amazon because I figured it was just like cheap, easy. Um, I feel like the collars he's gonna grow out of pretty quickly. Obviously, I'm gonna want something cute once he's like full grown, but while he's still growing, I feel like it's kind of pointless to spend too, too much money. So, and I'm not sure like how tiny he's gonna be when we pick him up. Um, anyway, so here I got the small and the extra small. I'll link these below. Um, and they were both like, I want to say like five, maybe six dollars. So super, super inexpensive. Um, and then picked the same color in both. Um, they're both a little bit adjustable. So there is a little bit of room um, to adjust, but I figured these should get him through at least the first couple months of him growing until he is his full, um, until he does become full grown. Anyway, but those are the collars and then the leash, again, just a very basic um, black leash. This was also from Amazon, super inexpensive. I think this was like 10 bucks. Um, but I like the super short leashes. You don't want them to be yet too long. I feel like you want them right by your feet. So. This was the one we got from Amazon. Again, I will link this all below. So these were the Amazon purchases. Okay, next up, we're gonna be going through um, the food supplies. First things first, I got this um, like bin for his food, literally 10 bucks from Marshall's. Um, they had other sizes and stuff too, but I went with a smaller one just because I knew it would fit in the bottom um, portion of our pantry, but it does still fit up to 10 pounds of like a 10 pound bag of kibble. Um, and again, 10 bucks. So from Marshall's and then this has always been a staple in my mom's home. Um, the Trader Joe's dog treats, although I am still sorting through the ingredient list. Um, I feel like I know what to look out for when I'm reading just a human food label, but when it comes to dog food labels, I'm still learning. Um, so I'm not quite certain if I want to say that like I recommend these yet, but I was at Trader Joe's so I had to get a box. Um, and then another Marshall's find, um, the mini train me training reward chicken flavor. Um, so they're super, super tiny, so like you can give them several, though I have heard like it's kind of good to just like at meal time try to use their kibble um, to teach them. But anyway, this one I did read the ingredient list and it's got great ingredients. Um, no corn, no soy, no BHA or BHT, um, but I think everything on the ingredient list is very, very safe. Um, so these for training and then I also got these puppy teething rings. This was another, another Marshall's find, um, they're pumpkin flavor. So while he's in his teething phase, again, I read through all the ingredients, very minimal ingredients, which we love. Um, and they all look very clean. So I trust these. Um, so anyway, while he's teething, he can chew on 
couple of these, but it comes in a bag of six um, and it was eight bucks. But that is all the food items. I should also include that I haven't quite picked out a food yet, which I know is like probably top of the list of things that I need. But um, currently they're feeding him the Diamond brand puppy food, um, but I'm probably gonna want something a little bit more clean um, just cause, yeah. Um, so I'm still doing my research. I've been trying to look into a lot of different brands um, and also including some kind of like wet food too because I think right now they're just doing kibble. But um, obviously since that's, that's what they're feeding him now, we'll slowly wean him onto whatever food we decide on. But um, I just haven't figured out what food we're gonna transition him to just yet. So um, luckily since it's kind of a weaning process anyway, I feel like I have some time. But TBD, um, stay tuned if you're interested. But I ha this is something I have been like really looking into because I want to make the right choice. So, okay, next up is just like grooming essentials. Um, another Marshall's fine, I'm telling you, they have the best stuff. Um, this is like a puppy two in one shampoo and conditioner for sensitive skin. It's got oatmeal and honey. Um, again, it looked clean, good ingredients. Um, I just don't want anything to irritate him. So we're going to try this. It's from the brand Natural Wonders. So anyway, this will be his shampoo. And then I just got a like small slicker brush for now. Um, he'll probably need some more like combs, brushes, whatever. But we're going to start with this guy. This one's actually from Walmart. Um, and it's for medium to long coats. So I don't know. Stay tuned because we might need more brushes and grooming um, items. But for now, this is just what we're going to start with until we need more. And then next up, just a couple like home items. Obviously, he needed some bowls for food and water. And these were each $5, again, from Marshalls. And I just thought they were really cute. So, um, yeah, food bowls. And then, of course, he needed a bed. Um, he's probably, so he's supposed to get anywhere from like 30 to 40 pounds. Um, so he may outgrow this. I don't know yet. Um, but I just, I like the donut ones because that way he can really like snuggle up in here versus like some of the flat ones just didn't look as comfortable. This like, I don't know. And we'll see. He may like this kind. He may not. I don't know. There's some dogs that don't even like beds. So we'll kind of see what he likes if he's into this. But, um, I figured this would be a good starter bed for now. And then last... <laughs> This is kind of just something I wanted to do, but I made him a little like tie blanket, fleece blanket. Um, the all fabric was like 40% off at Hobby Lobby, so I figured why not? Um, but we'll pick him up with this. Um, it'll probably go in like the bottom of his crate or just like, I don't know, this is his blanket. So not to be mixed up with any of our blankets for lounging and stuff, this is George's blanket, so. Does he need one? Not really, but you know. And then I also, cause again, fabric was 40% off. I just got this cute dog paw print um, fabric. I figured I could cut this to make him some little neckerchiefs. Do I need to DIY my neckerchiefs? I don't know, probably not, but um, it was super inexpensive cause it was all 40% off. So why not? Okay, and then last but not least, of course he needs toys. I tried to not go too overboard with the amount of toys I was getting him. Um, Cause I like, I heard it's not great to overwhelm him. I, I am not an expert. I'm just like reiter reiterating information that I've heard. Um, but I heard it's not great to overwhelm him. Just get kind of like a few of each like different kind of toy, see what they like, what they don't like. Um, 
but too many options can potentially overwhelm them. Again, I'm just reiterating information that I was told. But we got him a lammy because every puppy needs a little lammy. Um, this Marsh, I think all of these are Marshall's toys. Yeah, all of these are from Marshall's. Um, this was five bucks plush toy. It's got a squeaker in there. Um, so he needed a lammy. And then the other plush toy, a little white claw also squeaks. And also just five bucks from Marshall's. So those are his two plush toys. And then I got a set of like tennis balls, but I, once I got these home, I was like, these might be too big for his little mouth when he comes home. So I don't know, but he needed some tennis balls, right? Um, and these, the set of four was four bucks. And then this is a little chew antler teether thing um, for him to chew on. I feel like they need a lot of teething toys right off the bat. So this was four bucks also from Marshall's. And then this is kind of similar. It's a chase and chomp. Um, also kind of teething. It's got the spikes over here and like this they can chew on um, while they're teething. But this one you can put like treats inside um, for them to kind of, I don't know, uh, halfway like an enrichment toy, work to get it out, but also um, gnaw on the sides for teething. Yeah, also four bucks, yeah. Uses a treat dispenser. <laughs> Dogs need to bounce, toss, or roll the foraging ring to release the treats. So he's got to play with it and mess with it to get the treats out. So teething slash enrichment. And then last thing, um, it's like a triangle tug toy. They Their selection on like ropes was not the best this time around. Um, I felt like he needed some kind of rope to play tug with but i thought this would be a good option it seems very very durable um and hopefully this is something he can get his mouth around and then i don't know maybe he can teeth on this thing too yeah and this was the most expensive toy it was eight bucks but anyway this was the last of the toys and then this actually okay this is not really a dog find, um, but this came from either Marshall's Home Goods or TJ Maxx. I don't remember which one, but it sits on our media table. And this is where all of these are gonna be stored for easy cleanup. You can't see them and it hides them. So his toys have a home. Hopefully they're not scattered all over the house. I'm sure they will be, but um, just another Marshall's Home Goods TJ Maxx find that will be used for our little boy George. Anyway, but that is everything that we have so far. Um, last thing that we're getting is a crate is coming in for him tomorrow that we ordered off of Amazon. And then food, I think, is like the other last purchase. Um, probably two of the more essentials. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, crate's coming tomorrow. I'll link that too. It's just from Amazon. Um, and then the food. But I think this is about everything that we need before George comes. He also is getting, they're providing like a little, it's called a snuggle puppy. Um, so it's a little plush puppy that will smell like his litter mates and his mom. That way um, he can have the scent of them when he comes home so he's not as nervous or afraid, which I just think is so cute. But that'll be one more um, plush toy that he comes home with. Anyway, um, we are picking him up in again, just 10 days. So we are so, so, so excited. Um, but if you want to see footage from him being picked up and all that, I will be posting a full vlog of that weekend. I'm sure there'll be a lot of cute puppy content. So make sure to subscribe. And if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching.